Hi everybody and welcome back to another Napa STEM Academy art video. Today we're going to craft a balloon powered car. We'll learn how scientific principles like propulsion and air pressure will help our cars to move and use a fusion of art and science skills to create the best looking, fastest balloon car on the market. Let's rev up and get ready to ride. Propulsion is the act of causing forward movement or the condition of being moved forward. In our activity today, the pressure of the air being released out of the balloon acts as the propulsion, moving our car forward. Gravity is the force that causes an object to have weight. Gravity is the reason why we humans stay safely on the ground. It's also the reason why our car will not float up into the atmosphere or fly away. Air pressure, as it relates to our activity, has to do with how much force air has when it's been compressed into a space, like a balloon. We use air pressure in our daily lives when we put air into our bike tires, when we play harmonica, or even when we drink using a straw. Kinetic energy is the energy that an object has because of its motion. For example, if you are standing and then go into a run, your running is kinetic energy. Let's relate this to the science behind our car. The balloon-powered car reacts to the force of the air from the balloon pushing out behind the car, causing it to move forward. As the air flows out and the car moves forward, it now has kinetic energy because it's in motion. Now that we have some new knowledge, let's get started with our activity. The materials you'll need for this one are two wooden barbecue skewers for the axles, four plastic bottle caps for the wheels, a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube, construction paper, masking tape or hot glue, a hole punch, paint or colored markers, a balloon, and a bendy straw. Begin by cutting a U-shape into the cardboard tube to make an opening for toys to sit in the car. Fold the U up and cut it again to make it smaller. Then, decorate your tube using colored tape, paint, or colored markers. You could even add a number to the side as well. Take your time and have fun with this step. Cut your barbecue skewers to make two four-inch axles. Then, using the hole punch, punch four holes into the tube. These are for your wheel axles. Two holes across from each other in the front and two in the back. Here's a note. Depending on the size of the wheels, each axle should sit low enough in the tube to allow the wheels to touch the ground once they're attached. Now you can insert the axles through the holes in the tube. Using hot glue, attach a bottle cap wheel to each end of both axles. Then insert the bendable end of the straw about one half inch inside the balloon. Be sure to wrap the balloon tightly around the straw and then tape it in place. Run the straw through the inside of the tube, resting it on the base. The balloon end should extend out the front of your car with the elbow angled upward, and an inch or so of the straw should extend out the back of the car. Tape or hot glue the straw to the base of the tube. Now you can blow up the balloon through the straw, set it on the floor, and watch it go. Here's a challenge. Instead of using balloon power, add a sail and use a fan or outside wind to power your car. Using a sharp tool, create a hole in the top of your tube and insert a straw, standing it straight up through the hole. Tape or glue it to the base. Add a paper sail to the straw and you're ready to go. Have you ever seen a soapbox derby race? The Soapbox Derby is a youth soapbox car racing program, which has been run in the United States since 1933. Cars competing in this and related events are unpowered, relying completely on gravity to move. We hope you had a blast using your new knowledge to create a balloon-powered car. For accommodations and an extra extension activity, feel free to check out our lesson plan for today's activity. We'll see you next week with another art video.